Okay, we are here in our project. So, what we can do is we can go to our layout. We are already here. Add the mesh and uh, what do you like? Cylinder. Yeah. Yeah, and as you can see, the cylinder is bigger than our donut because of its one meter. So, in real life, no, magagawa tayo ng donut which is 0 0.05. And then, the depth is like a, tingnan lang natin is like a, tingnan lang natin, we can edit it naman later. So, let's check where's our donut. So, upon clicking, you will not see anymore. Pwede siguro 0.1 ang depth, ang radius ay 0.1 para makita natin. It's easy for us to stretch it. So, we can not see it here. So, where's our, this one, this one is our cylinder. So, ayan yung cylinder. So, go down, and then go down. So, itnay natin siya dito. Okay, as you can see, parang makita natin if, yan, ito na nga yung doon. So that I'm still sorry the wait. So we can um we can stretch this by pressing X S and then we can stretch it like that. Another way is not to stretch it but you can edit it by edit mode. So, once you are in the edit mode, yan, kapag ginaganya mo yan, so, lahat ng, uh, what they call it, the nodes, it will affect them. So, so bago ka mag-edit mode, kailangan ilipat mo muna yung itong ating cil itong, uh, cylinder para hindi maapektuhan yung ating mga dog. You can also, uh, sorry, turn this off. Okay, this one. So let's edit it. So let's go to the to the X-ray mode. Para it's easier for us. So you put them on the model object mode for that. And then let's uh, move it up. In order to move it up, G and then Z. And, and then para move up. Then you can use the XY axis para hindi tayo mahihapan. So, you can move it here para medyo malayo sa kanila. And then you can, because we are already okay with the size or the diameter pala, we will just edit the the thickness. So, let's go away from the project. And then, let's edit it with our edit mode. Then, the window. And then, you can type a day. Yan. Kapag ganyan, it means you need to make this in x-ray. So, hindi kasi natin nakakopya lahat. Z is making it straight. Yeah. Plus, uh, you can make it like this. So, you can see na lumiit na siya. So, tingnan natin kung ano nangyari kapag ka object mo. So, you can make this like this. So, it's like a plate siya. So, kapag ka binuksan natin ito, yeah, plate na siya. Okay, puto ko na tayo dito. So that we can move our plate on its place like this. So this one. Okay. And then, syempre, when you're moving it, parang kung saan saan napupunta yan, no? So that's the problem with that. And then you can turn on our donut. So, dito tayo sa ating, sana mag-swak siya. So, we
So the reason why we're having problem is that because of this one. So snap or during transformation, it really uh, giving us a uh, uh, challenge here. But now I uncheck it, so you can see that we can move our donut in the way that we want our donut to, to be placed. But again, we have a problem with the lighting because it's too bright, no? So, what we need to do is to adjust the lighting. So, ako, nagkamali ako sa lighting ko. It's very, very near. Then, you have to make it here, around here, on this part. So, you can see naman, no? Para I have a shadow here. So, this is the X, Y axis, and this is the Z. So, you can see, uh, you can move it here. So, now, okay. So, remember that, ah, uh, you uncheck this clip and snap during transformation because we're not doing transformation but we're moving objects but the problem is it ano, clump on the material and the ob some of the object nagugulo siya okay yeah so i think it's so bright you can make it uh, so the adjustment can be the light the lighting the lighting settings or your uh, the movement of the direction of the light. So, with this one, we're going to edit this plate. And when we are going to edit this plate, we're going to go to here. So, the modifier. So, the modifier, that is our cylinder or our plate, no? We can change the name of our plate and the, the cylinder to plate. Then, it will automatically be plate. Para hindi ka nahirapan. So, there are uh, modifiers here that you can see. Let's check the smooth. So, what does the smooth uh, does? So, this one, we can play on, sabi ko nga, uh, during our, no, you can you can examine some of the, ano, and then it becomes parang yung, yung square square, parang yung line, yung, yung division niya. So, the division, the division that the, uh, Subjects is telling about. So that's the vertices, no? And then when we go here, yeah, see mo. So again, that's the uh, modifier for the smooth. So, so parang di naman siya nag smooth, no? So let's go to other uh, surface, no? Na it will help us. Kasi there are a lot of things modifier here. Edge cleat, descent. So, mirror, remesh, you can play on that, no? Smooth correction, uh, the one that we did is a smooth correction. But again, hindi pa rin siya parang smooth. So, we can, uh, we can have this, the one that we used to do is the uh, subdivision surface. So, nakita mo, ang dami niyang division. So, I think, uh, how, paano ba siya na-divide, no? And then, pag pinundit natin yung simple, and this is Kalmut Clorp, ewan ko, simple na lang tayo. And then, if you try to adjust this, yan, gusto ko talaga siya yung solve, pero, I don't know, kasi, ganyan siya. You can go to the advanced, and then, when you go down, um, the smoothness, uh, you can go to all. Uh, and then with this uh, material, uh, material, let's go to this material. This is the wall, okay? So, if you are having a problem, you need to check the materials that you have here. And then go to the shader. Shader or shader, it's shady. Go to the shading, and this is our material, uh, the tangent space, normal map, is, um, we have this week, no, and baka you forgot to have this normal map, okay, so try to add this one, uh, baka kaya it's not showing up, because we are using this. So, you need to do the normal map, tangent, tangent space, the strength can be multiplied, 
look at the strength. So you can see the strength, uh, it's adjust, no? And then you connect it to color to color. Baka this one is the one that you forgot to, to remind you, no? So from this material, it should be with the normal map in between of the brick paint wall and the principal BSDF. The principal BSDF is the one that you have here. So when we add material. Ano ba yun? Paano ba mag-add mag material? We are here. And then dati, it's just wall. And then you click uh, add class or here. Uh, not, not here. Uh, wall and then there's a uh, something uh, parang you need to add and then it becomes here na. So, mag magkakaroon kayo ng ganito. Freestyle, line art, viewport, display, and custom property. So, dito, ito ano na dito, ito rin yun. But, it's more magandang tingnan to see this here. Ayan. Okay. So far, I think you you catch everything well. So I adjust the strength. And if I adjust the strength, it becomes like this one. Tignan mo yung wall ko. It's really parang wall talaga. Okay? So that's it. So see you. You can make the color change pala, no? Yeah. Okay, God bless.